Hi. Now, I'm often asked that when we solve a differential equation, say something like this, where we have to separate the variables, when we have the constant, say c, which side does that constant have to go on? Well, what I want to do is show you in this tutorial it, that the fact that it doesn't matter which side you put that constant on. And I'll demonstrate two different approaches to doing this. Both result in exactly the same answer. So let's say that we've got this equation, solve dy by dx equals 2x over 3y squared. And we're given that y equals 2 when x equals 3. So to solve this, what we would need to do is separate the variables. We'd need to multiply both sides by 3y squared and remove the dx here. So what we would have is 3y squared dy equals and then 2x dx. And then we have to integrate both sides. So we'll just put that like so. Now, when we come to integrating this side, we're going to get y cubed. So therefore, we've got y cubed. And we're going to have a constant of integration, which I'll call, say, plus a. And then when it comes to integrating 2x with respect to x, we get x squared. And we're going to have a constant of integration for this one, which I'll call b. Now, we don't normally do this by writing an a and a b on both sides. What we tend to do is just write one constant. And this is the reason for this tutorial. Which side do you put the constant on? Well, let's just suppose we decided to take this constant here from the left-hand side. What we're going to be left with is, therefore, y cubed would equal x squared, and then would have b minus a. And when we subtract one constant from another constant, we get another constant, which I'm going to call plus c. So quite often, when we are dealing with a question like this, we integrate both sides, and we go to an answer like this. We don't tend to write this version down. So we end up, say, with c on the right-hand side. And then we have to work out what that value of c is, and we use our boundary conditions here. We know that when y equals 2, we're told that x equals 3. And we would substitute those values into our equation. And if we did that, we'd have 2 cubed, which is 8, equals x squared, 3 squared, in other words, which is 9, plus the constant of integration. And if we take 9 from both sides, you can see that we've got 8 take away 9, which is minus 1. So that constant c is minus 1. And that means that if we now substitute c equals minus 1 back into here, we get our particular solution to our differential equation, which is y cubed equals x squared minus 1. All right? Now, suppose we had decided that instead of putting the c on the right-hand side here, that we had integrated this term here, got y cubed, and we've decided to put the constant c on the left-hand side, and we've got equals x squared. The c here is the result of doing a minus b. One constant minus another constant gives us a constant, which I'll call c. And we need to work out what that constant c is. And we would say, again, when y equals 2, x equals 3. We'd substitute these values into our equation here. y cubed, 2 cubed, in other words, is going to be 8. So we've got 8 plus the constant of integration, c, equals 3 squared, which is 9. And you can see now that if we take 8 from both sides, we end up with the constant c equaling 1, 9 take away 8. And if we substitute this back into here, we therefore have y cubed plus 1 equals x squared. And essentially, these two equations are exactly the same. Okay?
Obviously, if I take one from both sides, I've got this solution. So it doesn't matter which side you put the constant C on. OK, I've used C here and I've used C here, and they're both different values for C. But if you were just doing this as a one off, OK, you're not going to do both versions here. You're just going to call it C. And so different people doing it different ways will end up with a different value for C. OK, but at the end of the day, when they substitute that value of C into their respective equation, it will come out to basically the same answer. So I hope this video does give you some idea then um, about this placement of C, that it really doesn't matter where you place it, OK? It will, providing you make no mathematical mistakes, it will end up giving you exactly the same result. All right?